hello everyone and welcome to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at this 7 watt foldable solar charger from Soaoki and this came in this very easily recyclable cardboard box so let's quickly take a look at what we get in the box so here is the content of the box you get a thank you card the solar panel itself a piece of micro USB cable decent quality and a manual and on the manual you can see that it says Suwauki 7 watt inside the manual here are the characteristic characteristics of the solar panel as you can see it outputs uh, 5 volts and 1.2 ampere maximum but which is not going to be true let's keep the box aside for now and let's take a look at the cable so the cable that the, comes with this solar panel is decent quality it's about 60 or 70 centimeters long and here is the main content of the box which is the solar panel itself uh, this is the front latch and here is the second latch the second latch is used to keep the solar po uh, solar panel folded up here is the pocket or the compartment where you can put your phone or power bank for charging through solar inside the compartment you will also get two piece of carabiners that can be used to attach the solar panel or hang the solar panel in such a way that it is receiving sunlight very light feels like they are made of aluminium let's close the latch for now on the other side you can see the Suwauki logo and here is the charge controller or the voltage regulator as you can see it comes with only one uh, USB output here is the green LED which lights up when the solar panel is receiving sunlight let's open the so, uh, charger for now but let's measure the size when it is folded up here is I've got a tape measure and when the solar panel is folded up it is about 4 inches wide and about about 6 inches long so let's unfold the solar panel so here is the solar panel un unfolded completely and as you can see it comes with 4 small solar panels and when fully unfolded the length of the uh, when fully unfolded the length of the solar panel is about 17 inches long and 6 inches wide So the company claims it to be a 7 watt panel, but which is hardly going to be true uh, Talking about the build quality the build quality is really good. I'm very impressed with the build quality uh, the fabric with which it is made of feels like canvas usually backpacks are made of this material so without wasting any more time let's take this under the sunlight and see whether it can charge anything or not so here we are in the sunlight and as you can see it's a very bright and clear sunny day here's the 7 watt Suwauki solar charger and as you can see on the back there is the green LED which is glowing that means it is getting the power and it's ready to use so I've got a broken USB cable here here it is and as you can see there are four wires out of them one of them is red and one of them is black the red one is the positive one and the black one is the negative one I'm going to connect this USB cable to the solar charger and then I'm going to use my unity multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage and we will also measure the short circuit current so without wasting any more time let's just connect the wire and do our tests so let's connect the wire here is the USB port as you can see the LED is glowing that means it is getting power I'm going to connect the broken USB cable now it's connected and here is my multimeter let's set this to 20 volt DC and on here you can see the red wire and the black wire so I'm going to connect the red wire to the red probe and the black wire to the black probe and that will give 
give us the open circuit voltage so as you can see we are getting about 5.2 volts which is what you uh, most of the time needs to charge your USB gadgets so we are good with the voltage now let's check the uh, short circuit current and to do that we have to change our red probe from the 200 milliampere fused socket to the 10 ampere maximum socket and let's turn the meter to the 10 ampere range which is here and I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to connect the red with the red probe and black with the black probe and that should give us the short circuit current so we are getting about 0.68 amperes which is like 0 0.680 milliamperes so that's very good for a 7 watt panel so is that huge that is not huge for charging a lot of gadgets but that does work so here I've got the Suwaki 7 watt solar charger under the bright sunlight and we don't have any cloud today and here is my Moto G5 Plus I've connected the Suwaki 7 watt solar charger to the Moto G5 Plus and let's check how much charge do we have on this phone right now and as you can probably see that we've got about 31% charged and let's check the time as well and you can see that we've got we are almost at 1 pm now it's 12 59 1 pm let's call it 1 pm and we are at 31 percent charge and let's see how much charge we can get on this moto g5 plus using this walkie 7 watt solar charger uh, after one hour so here we are i forgot to check the phone after one hour and it's been like more than two hours now and we've been charging our moto g5 plus uh, for the past two hours and more using the Swaki 7 watt solar charger and we started to charge the phone at 30% and let's see how much charge have we got now so it is at 73% now and we started to charge this phone at 1 pm let's check the time as well and the time you can see it's 314 so in two hours 14 minutes it was able to charge the phone 40% that is 30% to about 70 percent so definitely the charger is working and it is definitely practical uh, to use this as an emergency emergency charger or where you don't have uh, any electricity supply where you can't charge your phone so definitely this charger gives gets a thumbs up from me but if you really want to invest your money in solar chargers then i suggest you go with at least uh, 20 or 25 watt version because that that is neither too small neither too big and that would be just a perfect uh, size and uh, would be more practical and you would be able to charge your devices more faster than this one and that with that said i conclude this video i hope you like this video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye